Whatever you do, don't look behind you. Run! Welcome back to our next indie horror game. The Primary Color Man. I'm just gonna say it right off the bat, that dude is creepy as shit. His face is absolutely haunting, and I'm not even really sure why. I, I don't know if it's the giant forehead or the giant eyes that are like just looking directly at the camera, or the almost but not quite smile that's still very effective at saying, I'm gonna take your skin. Like, I, and the fact that he's evidently naked and he's just slathered himself in primary color paint. <laughs> I don't know. But whatever whatever the reason, that that dude is he's that's creepy as shit. Like oh wow. He look He looks toward the If I scroll over one of the menu options, he looks toward the pointer. That's oh my god. I like it. I like it already. That is super creepy. Oh, uh, this is gonna be a good one. Alright. Here we go. Our objective is escape. So not only has he painted himself in primary colors, his entire layer is just a labyrinth of primary color squares. <laughs> Alright. Oh, we got a flashlight. Okay. Oh shit. Oh god. There he was. Oh, he's... Find the fuse box. Okay. so disorienting, like, it, it's hard to tell where I'm even at, because everything looks exactly the same. And those creepy-ass noises, I assume that's him making those sounds. Like... Hey, we found the fuse box. Sweet. Find the fuse. This there's two. Oh god. Okay. Oh, there he was. Fuck. Ah. Oh, that's creepy. That's so creepy. <laughs> this one might take me a minute because there's no sprint. So like. If he gets close to me, I'm just... Yep. Ooh, boy. Oh, I don't know where he was that time. He was behind me, I guess. Alright, so there's the fuse box. Now...
I don't know if it's intentional, but the way he moves is creepy. It's like... It's erratic, like he's not walking. It, it's not quite dancing, but he's... He's like a combination of a randomly spray-painted serial killer and the creepy guy from the Smiling Man creepypasta story. Like, he's... Although his smile's not as wide, it's still... I bet one of the fuses was on that chair we found way back there at the beginning. one. Now we gotta go find where the other one was. I even turned to full oh, shit. No. Fuck. <laughs> All right, we gotta go find it. It was close to the beginning area, so we should be close to that other chair. trying to judge how close he is by how loud and what direction his sounds are coming from, and I don't even know if it matters, like, the distance probably does, but I don't know about the direction. Son of a bitch. Okay, so now we can find... where from the beginning that first chair was. Yeah, right there. So... chair. So I bet the fuse can appear there too. If it's random. Ah, fuck. Oh wait, I already goofed because the fuses aren't gonna pop. The fuses don't show up until we actually find the fuse box, and I have no idea where that is from now. Uh. Okay. There we go. No, no, no! Well, 
I'm probably walking in circles and don't even realize it. so tall. Why are you so tall though? Oh shit. Man, he came right to the beginning that time. Uh. I wonder if the light being on matters. Could he see that? Like... There's really no escape. Because there's no sprint. So once he, once he comes at you, it's just over. Because there, there's really no way to run away from it. Oh, I guess if you can stay, even if, I, I guess it is. You can. If you can stay away from him for a few seconds, he does go away for his, for a little bit. I. Flashlight doesn't matter. He can see in the dark, I guess. Okay. I'm gonna use all these deaths to try and like try and get the layout. I think I think I've got the location of the fuse box down. Maybe not. Apparently I don't. <laughs>
there's one. dang fuse box went and then probably find the exit back at the starting room, so... gotta find the way out of this bitch <laughs> without dying. <laughs> I assume it's not gonna be super close to the fuse box, so... There we go. There we go. Oh, look. Primary color man is very sad because he didn't get to kill us. Well, he did. But we still ultimately got away. So he's, he's, he's got all his primary sad face on there. <laughs> that was really good. Really good. Like... This is, I don't, I don't, I mean, it's not any one thing, like, super tall dude, creepy smile, buck-ass naked, slathered in primary paint, who lives in a house composed entirely of primary color squares, and he, he, it's the way he moves, like, it's more like a weird, creepy slide movement, like, he doesn't walk, it's, it works. Like, I don't know if it's intentional or that was like a bug in his movement, but if it's a bug, leave it because it works really well. Uh, but that was really good. Like, the. I normally hate mazes. And. But that one, like. Making everything look exactly the same, like it's all just blue, red, and yellow squares really adds to the tension and disorientation, because there's no way to tell where you're really at. I mean, I could have been walking in circles all those times that I died, not even realized it, because, you know, everything looks exactly the same. It's, that's, that was a really good one. I, I, I see there's a second game here, too, so, uh, definitely gonna have that one up, too. But that was, that was really good. Really liked that one. Alright. So, that was the primary color, man. Uh, the link for that is in the description, as always. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.